to the Divas Family channel, guys. So we haven't put a video out here in 10 months, which is absolutely insane. So we're gonna get back into that. Let me tell you what this video is gonna be about. All this stuff from the last three videos that you probably have seen on our main channel if you're here, because there's no way you found this channel before our main one. So we're gonna go deeper into these boxes and also go through that jewelry box that we found in the one video. Leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. So let's get right into it. This is the first box. So I know you guys, obviously, if you are on the main channel, you've seen most of this stuff. However, on this channel, what I'm gonna try to do is go more in depth because we kind of rush through um, on the main channel for the most part. So now you'll be able to see exactly what this stuff actually is. So this just looks like sand in a bottle, a bunch of this sand in the bottles is just, I guess they went on vacation and wanted to collect it. This is a broken bottle, so I'll just keep that on the side here. Here's another thing of sand. On There's like purple marker back here, so they wrote something, but I guess it just faded away after a while. So just more sand in that bottle. And then the rest of this is some seashells. This one is still closed. I don't know if they glued it or just like that. Shells, shells, oops. Drop that one. Another shell. Another shell. Some of this stuff you guys will see in our live auction whenever we decide to hold it. Once we have enough stuff, we will announce on the main channel in one of the videos uh, when we are going to have it. So I've gotten most of the big ones out. Here's another full one. The rest of it is just little fragments of shells. And this is one box that fell apart in the truck, so I had to get another box to put it. But this is all the nail polish that you guys seen. There's literally, like, I didn't even count this when I put it in here, but there has to be at least a hundred or so in there. I don't know the condition of any of them. Some of them look new. Some of them kind of look cracked and dried out on the side, if you can see that. So I don't, I don't know if that means it's dry inside or it's just more used than the other one. So that's all that nail polish. I don't want to show you nail polish in super detail. Before I get into this box, I wanted to mention that when we were leaving the facility, I was telling them that I was leaving the personal stuff in the unit, and they said, well, we don't really know what to do with it because the lady has passed away. Hopefully some of the family gets the stuff back. Just want to let you guys know of that because we always like to let you guys know of the story behind the unit. Uh, drywall anchors. This is some kind of, is like a, I guess just a piece of fabric that they could have cut up and made into something else. Whatever it is, it's really pretty. This is just a candle with like a printed picture on it. it looks like an owl and says, there are people we meet in life that make everything seem magical. Cherish them. That's nice. Here is the woof on the arrowhead glass. So those are pretty cool. There's a lot of mermaid and wolf things on here. Here is uh, the dolphin. It's a dolphin and mermaid on a piece of glass. This next thing is like a little, I don't know, dish for whatever you want to use it for. This is a candle holder. Maybe it goes in there. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. A battery. So you don't want to see a battery. A light that probably doesn't work. And these things, I was assuming, I think, like if you're doing your nails or something, down here maybe, to like cover so you don't make a mess. I don't know. I don't know nails. You guys let me know. These things, a whole roll of them. Here's another thing. Oh, it had tea light in it, but now it doesn't. So this thing holds tea lights. What else is in here with this thing? Something on a necklace has a mermaid on the front with a jewel. Is it open? Looks like it opens. Yes, it does. Right here, it opens. Oh, and there's stuff inside. Hmm. Well, here's that's this is just more of the string that's on the outside. Let me see. So it says lunar designs, lunacy designs. That's just saying what it is. And maybe this is the price. <coughs> Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, it's a it's a metal mini purse, and it was seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars for this purse right here. That's actually interesting. I didn't even think that that could be a purse, but you know, you could fit like a chapstick in there. <laughs> Maybe some money. Here's another mermaid decor thingy. This is just, I don't know, dirty, so it's probably going to be trash. And that is it for that box. In this one, we have the little mini bat. It just says high PUR, high performer advanced bonding system. So maybe it's just like a company bat. 
And this hat, this is the thing that was fast trying to run away. This has a bunch of stuff that's bubble wrap. So let's see what was in the bubble wrap. So there goes the bat. This um, body powder, this is like the big thing that we open. Literally this has, this thing is full of powder and I'm, I was trying to lift it to see what was under it, but I'm not trying to get that all in my face. <coughs> and I did anyway. <coughs> I like taste it now. This is just, <coughs> it's just like a tester thing that's going in the trash. This is a vase that has turtles and fish and stuff on it. And this is another candle holder that looks like it has a candle in it, but I can't get it out. Yep, tea candle, candle holder. Another tea candle. Is that what they're called, tea candles? All right, yeah, trap. I'm just gonna keep the holders for them. So this is a cool rock. You guys get to see this, all the rocks in more detail here. A little thing of gold bound baby powder. More of the bubble wrap, so let's talk over here for now. So they broke in glass, but it had a bunch of shells in there. Another rock that has purple. I don't know if this is amethyst. It's, it doesn't have like the rugged edges like amethyst. So I'm gonna assume not. Just because it's purple doesn't mean it's amethyst. This looks more like amethyst. This is the candle holder. This is a cork, which I think went on the top of this bottle. Here's another piece of quartz, maybe? I'm gonna sound so dumb. Y'all, you people that know rocks. I don't know rocks. I know like a few words here and there, but I just don't know. I'm gonna sound so stupid. So just comment if I'm wrong, because it's all right. Constructive criticism. I gotta learn as I go. And the next thing we have, here's another shell. This is a vase that just says Namaji Pottery on the bottom. And it's like turquoise and like marbled almost. <sighs> Definitely looks handmade. More bubble wrap. There's something in here, like a little saucer. It says international in the back, just a little saucer to put candles on, I guess. And then at the bottom, we have a few more rocks. I know this isn't a rock. That looks like, I don't know, something that's in the ocean. <laughs> what is this? Glass. Glass, go in the trash, in the trash so I don't get cut. All right, this rock, it's kind of interesting. It has like an opening in there. I don't know if it was found like that or they did it, but that. Here's more amethyst right here. This looks like a piece to the thing that I said that goes in the ocean, or is from the ocean. Here's another rock that has holes in it. Maybe these rocks were in the ocean because look, look right there. It looks like there's a, a shell in it or something. Looks like a mouth to something. I hope it doesn't come out and get me. Another purple and white rock. I think this is amethyst as well. Here's a blue one. This looks really cool. A blue one, a pink one, or like, um, I guess it's like a coral pink. A purple or like a blood red type one. And then the last one out of this box, it's like a see-through, I don't know, rainbow looking one. It's like clear, but it has like a blue tint to it. I don't know, pretty cool. Let's find another box. Before we get into the next few boxes, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe if you are new because we're gonna start putting videos on this channel way more often and most of them are gonna be deep search videos like you are seeing right now and other random stuff that, you know, whatever we just wanna put out. So let's get into these boxes. This box has 100 miniature clear Christmas lights. Christmas stuff, our favorite. This is like a protractor set, I guess. Could be used for drawing. This person seemed to like to draw a lot. This is a, it says carrying case, but it looks like headphones. Here is a saw. A Sears Craftsman double insulated. Uh, where's anything else on it? I have a number B1276 half inch saber saw. Some lens cloths. Trash. Um, replacement for bulbs. Put that in like our yard sale. One of these, which I feel like everybody needs. And this is just, these are like bills. Um, a thing of pictures, notebooks, gotta show you guys. 
paper, notebooks. What do we have here? We have an old cutting board, maybe? Who knows how many germs are in these cracks right here from all the possible meat that was cut on these. Here's another one. <laughs> Here's a wolf picture. The back is like completely falling apart. A wolf picture. This thing is like made out of, it feels like very really thin copper, but it's like a, a dog. The light's kind of making it glare, but it's a dog. Something that says 228 out of 1500, but I don't know what the exact picture is of. A fairy butterfly thing? I don't know. This is just some screws. This is life is an echo. What you put out comes back to you. Picture. And we have a, coo is it called a koozie? A koozie with rocks. Pour them out. The rocks and shells in it. Maybe they took it off the beach. I don't know. I don't know about half this stuff, but this thing is what they say it was a pentagram. I don't know what These, they say. There was it so many. Say, it was like a religious. Yeah, it was like we can or something type witchcraft, but like the good witchcraft. Here's a picture of what runes mean. I know there's a bag somewhere of runes, which I'll have to find because I don't see them in here, but we'll set those aside for when we do find them, we can see what they mean. This is. Oh, here it is. The the white can read or something. Bid ye the white can laws. Ye must in perfect love and prayer. I don't want to read it because then if something bad happens to me, y'all know why. I don't want to deal with all that witchcraft stuff. I don't really know what it is, but everybody in the comments are like going back and forth. They're like, it's good, and then people are saying, well, it's it's like it's um, it's not like necessarily bad, but it's like creepy and you don't know like what could happen if you're gonna do it. I don't know. Can I say yeah, go ahead. We can sell it at Demon. Can we do it? it would be so I mean, cool. I'm I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. If we read all this stuff and we figure out how to summon a demon, we're bringing you guys along, we'll record it. So we have like, um, whatever this is, that thing, a hammer and a mallet. I know what these are. I don't know what that third thing is. <laughs> Another staple gun. Does it work? Stop that. Stop! I don't know if something came out of it. I'm gonna just do it with the box. No, there's no staples in it, but it works. Tape measure, staples for the staple gun. Phillips head screwdriver. I always get the, I, I know the flat hat's got a flat hat, but I always forget the name of the crosshair one. I would always say crosshair one. I found two rings down here. Um, if I find rings, I'm gonna give it to Jeebus behind the camera. Maybe he can tell me what they are. Let me put them on camera real quick. There they are. One's really colorful, and the other one's just silver. Next, we have the big shell. There's nothing in it, but it is absolutely enormous. But here's a close up of it. These are just costumes, really. All right, set them aside. Now is the time we get into this beautiful jewelry box we found in the unit. Definitely the most full, but there are many. So there's a lot of jewelry we gotta go through. So what I'm gonna do here is pull out all the jewelry. If it is magnetic, I will put it aside. If it is not magnetic, I will then use the loop to see if there's a marking. And then from there, if it is a marking, we will acid test it. If there's no marking, then I'll just put it in a separate pile because then I guess it's costume jewelry then at that point, right? I don't know, probably, more than likely. So let's get into this jewelry box. One thing I forgot to mention is that if it is not magnetic, then I know it's not gold or silver and that is what we're testing for. And obviously this first piece is not gold or silver because it is a strip. All right, this next piece is also not gold or silver because it's a piece of plastic. This right here is also a cool rock. <laughs> what is a rock? We might find random rocks in here too. But, so let me show you what the top of this looks like. It's a bunch of jumbled jewelry, so I think what I'm gonna do is literally just stick the magnet on top and see what comes out. Here we go. Oh, see some stuff coming up. All right, we have a thumbtack and a few earrings. Let's see if I can pull up anything else in here. All right, some of the rings came up with it. Here's an earring that has a frog on it, another earring, a safety pin, this is just, I guess, something that they were crafting and put a rock in it. 
couple more thumbtacks, and another earring. As far as everything else, nothing else is sticking. So let's pull out some of these rings now. So here's this one. So let's see what it says on the inside, if anything. No magnetic pull. So let's see if it says anything on the inside. Yeah, there's a divot, but I can't see. Maybe I'll put it on a separate pile. Um, this one has no pull. I don't see anything on here either. No pull. I don't see any clear markings on here either. It's a little bent on here, but gold and silver doesn't bend really easy, does it? Soft and well bent. Oh, well bent, okay. See? Yeah. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> This says 925. So we have a silver one right here. Let me show you what it looks like. It has a little gem in there. A couple designs on the side. So that says 925. Oh, somebody did mention that the tiny ones that we saw are probably toe rings. So this has no pull. 10kp. That's good. That means it's it. That is 100% 10k. That means right? yeah, 10 karat plum. Is what it plum. For. Not not plated that's plum. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's how I liked it last time. <laughs> So here's the next one. Try to get it to focus. It has like a pink stone in it. This to find it. This says 925. And 925 again. Ooh. Top of that one looks really cool. It has a bunch of diamonds up there. So it says 18 K T H G E or F. Once we're done going through the jewelry box, we'll give you like a look at each pile to show you all that we found. All right, so that is all the rings out of the top of here. Now I'm gonna look and pull out these globs of jewelry on the side and see what they are. Does any of them stick and they just like didn't reach the magnet? Yeah, that's definitely yeah. <laughs> Here's another rock in here. I'm gonna pull, so this whole drawer right here is full too, but for the sake of my sanity, I just wanna tilt this over. Okay, let's clear it off. There's a lot of thumbtacks in there. Picked up some more. Look at mostly earrings. Smaller pile here. Another piece of earring. Go away. Another couple earrings and in the earring backs here, right on the side. And I felt I saw that. It's like wanting to grab, but it's like not coming earring here's another ring here let's see if it says anything it says 925 on it no pull so found that one here's another rock i like the colors on that one so this drawer right here is the next feat of this jewelry box let's see what is real this is yoshiro togiashi by funimation so i don't know what character that is but some anime. Uh, we have a pocket knife. And these, I thought, I think are all toe rings, if I'm not mistaken. Ew. They're just like, yeah, I don't even want to touch them, but I am. This says 925. <laughs> the other two don't. And here's the watch. I don't see a brand on the face at all. Why is this in a bag? There's like a little gem in a bag. It's a real diamond! Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour this out and do the same thing with the magnet. Ooh. But I gotta make sure that none of the necklaces are like tangled and just take the ones that are actually sticking, which is gonna be very difficult because they're all tied together. Next. All right, a lot of these. A couple more. That one, oh wait, this one. Is the chain fake or just the class? No, the chain is. All right, these are fake too. All right, some of this stuff isn't really sticking, but there's a couple of necklaces in here that I would want to look at. So I don't see anything on the clasp there. This one, like the middle thing is sticking, but the outsides aren't. What is it right here? Spadel. And all the rest of this stuff is uh, earring. So once we'll, we'll go through this stuff, we'll get the rings in a pile and we'll come back and show you all that we found. Okay. Acid tested all these, but it was a very, very lengthy process. Didn't want to bore you with that, but all the, these are all the rings that we have. I'm going to try to weigh them each as like a group. 14 K. 3.162 grams. 3.162. 
These two were 10. So let's see how much they weigh. 6.505. Nine total rings that said 925. <laughs> yeah, if you get all those around there, you're a master. All right, well, let's see if I can. The only bump in it is three. You don't have to. Oh, well, that's approximate without that's the one. That's 26.171, but there's one missing. About 29 and a half. Okay, about 29 and a half of 925. So one thing we noticed while we were putting the jewelry away is this was just really cool. Um, so they look like earrings, but it looks like they took a mercury dime and cut out like the head and like left the little ring on the outside and cut out everything else and made earrings out of it. They tried to leave like the, I feel like the words on this one, but this one, I guess it was just like too tiny and they couldn't, but I just thought it was really cool. Very, very creative. Now we're gonna get back into a few more boxes. So you saw this on video, this is like a little fountain thing, not much. This I believe had jewelry in it too. Yep, more jewelry, which I will go through on the next video. Here is more fingernail polish, which will go in that other box. This is Maxi One Single Day Multiple Vitamin. That is trash. Oh wait, what if it, forgot it could have money or jewelry in it. Let me make sure it's pills. That's a glass bottle, so I know that's probably why it sounds like that. Yeah, just pills and they smell awful. Gosh. PS2 game, 24, that is in there. This, oh, more jewelry. We're gonna have another group of jewelry to go through. Next time, Dirty Dancing, Hardwired. Hardwired's in there, Dirty Dancing is completely new. Might have a DVD lot coming up. Moonlight, the complete series of Moonlight. There are a few more here. We have Twilight, The Breaking Dawn, Harry Potter, uh, and The Order of Phoenix. And then Stephen King's Storm Century um, includes seven bonus movies, DVD, some Epsom salt, never wet, multi-surface liquid repelling treatment, okay, that, some hydrogen peroxide, some ink for the Canon printer, which you haven't seen on here yet, but you should have seen in the video. This is um, Galenga powder, whatever that is. Not sure at all. This is perfume that is empty. It's trash. That was very loud. Here's another amethyst piece. We have some more DVDs here. We have Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Uh, Harry Potter and Deathly Hollows Part One. This is Nicolas Cage, Nicole Kidman Trespass. Juice Pack for a phone. These are both in here. It's Tombstone and Eclipse. Here's some more Fast and the Furious collection. Fast and the Furious set, or Furious 7, my bad, Furious 7. The Dark Knight Rises. We have some petroleum jelly. We have a bracelet. A couple more rocks here. Uh, it's empty. Something else for the cannon. Black ink for the cannon. Here is a pirate festival shot glass. Here's a necklace. Let's see if that's real. I don't see any markings on it, but I'll put it with the jewelry so we can test it. So this has something in it, a rock. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> so I'll put that with all the other rocks. Um, aside from some miscellaneous shells down here, here's another rock in there. Like a rainbow colored one, a couple razors. Let me show you these last two like bigger rocks. So the purple one, and then this one. It's kind of cool looking. Other than that, the rest is junk. This box, right off the bat, I see a huge rock. So here's a closer look at that. It has some uh, amethyst in the middle, I guess. Do that, it's pretty cool. This has mouse traps. This bag, yeah, mouse traps. I'll put them here. And then this whole bag is just a bunch of nail stuff. So we have like a thing of fake nails right here. This is nail designs. It has like little stars in it. Little like coral stars. Um, and the rest is lotion. 
So this whole bag is filled with like some multicolored stuff, but let me pull out one just to show you. So they're not really bendable at all, but they have like little, you're not gonna be able to see that, little designs at the end. I see like animals. So all kinds of designs. I don't really know what these are used for. Somebody can let me know down in the comments, that'd be great. The rest of this box has more nail polish to add to the huge hoard that we already have. Now getting into the box right under it, right off the bat, we have a vase that just has some trash in it. Set that aside. This looks like bath salts or something. Maybe another kind of Epsom salt. It's just pink salt looking stuff. Definitely not like the eating type salt. Uh, this is a mermaid bag, which has nothing in it. This is a bag of like the pumpkin carvers that you get in the kits. A little flower picture frame. A little notebook, which is actually a fully used notebook. I feel like I never see a fully used notebook. Like who uses a notebook for its entirety? You usually lose it or throw it away halfway. A couple of empty frames down here, an address book, a trap sack. Don't know what that is. Trap sack. <laughs> um, a like nebulizer wire. Let's see what's down here. What is this? Ooh, like an old wallet. Put up my sleeves for this one. A wallet. Let's see what's in it. Some old coupons. Do you say coupons or coupons? It's definitely coupons. Uh, in here we have checks. I don't know if we went through this on video. Do you remember? Smell like mold. <laughs> Great. Mm, mold. Let's open this part. Okay, yeah, nothing in there. In there goes my nose. Ah! Okay, scissors. A couple more frames. I feel like there's a pottery down here. Oh, broken, but something they tried to hand make. I don't really know what it is. Uh, the almanac for farmers. More pictures, picture, what are all these? <coughs> Bills, literally just cardboard pieces. Um, this is the address book that I just found. A pair of crafting scissors. Maybe a crafting lot, go into the crafting lot. That is it, besides some broken pieces and some paper trash in the box. So that is gonna be it for this video, but I wanted to show you before I ended it, all of this stuff over here that we have to go through, it goes from here all the way to that wall. Most of the stuff back there is actually trash bags so not many boxes, but still a lot of boxes. And again, we're gonna go through more, more, more jewelry next time, as well as a bunch of other boxes. If you want to follow us on social media, all of those links are down in the description as well as the merch link. So go follow that if you, or go click on those if you want. And until next time, have fun, laugh more, peace out.